Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into the channel. Uh, today we're going to start a brand new series, uh, building a cycle cart frame. I've built three frames now, this will be number four. Um, this frame will either be for someone who wants me to build one for him, I've got a guy interested, so I'm getting started on it before we finalize the deal, and or if he doesn't want it, then I'm going to rebody my red car, or reframe my red car, make the frame a little narrower, gives me an opportunity to drop the body down a little bit, get a little lower sleeker, a little more... Um, kind of the, my vision. Everything's a compromise when you build these things. You don't always know exactly what you're doing or what your plan is going to be or exactly how it's going to turn out. So when you build your cycle cart, don't be afraid to change it. You built it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can rebody it, reframe it, make improvements on it. They're never perfect. Um, some of them turn out really, really nice and others turn out really, really crappy. Uh, I don't think any of mine are crappy necessarily. I just think uh, I can improve them. So that's what we're going to work on. Uh, first thing, um, these series of videos are going to be short. I think. Um, we're going to kind of go over some basics, some things people don't think about maybe or aren't really sure about. I've seen a couple of guys do some things and I thought it's worth mentioning uh, to help you avoid maybe making mistakes. So the first thing is prepping. So these are one foot by three foot, ten foot long frames and uh, we're going to cut them down to size but the first thing we do is clean them up. I got them home, they're covered in oil and grease from, you know, to keep them from rusting. Here in Arizona they don't rust much but they usually get rained on or something they'll start getting rusty, some areas in the country. Maybe you've got a lot of humidity and it's gonna uh, get surface rust. So clean off the oil when you're working with it. Well's better, it's easier to clean. Your hands don't get quite so dirty. I clean my hands twice now since I started playing with these things because they're greasy. Even now, after wiping them down with mineral spirits, soap and water, there's still a level of grease in there, or oil. Just, just to penetrate into the metal. Uh, you're never gonna get it completely clean. You're just gonna get most of it off so you can be able to pad or coat or paint it, it'll be cleaned. Um, so that's first. Second thing is to remember that there's a top and bottom on these things. Um, you can see that here, but there's a line, kind of a shadowy line. That's where this tube is welded together. When they make these things, they take a flat piece of steel, bend it over a form, and then weld it right down that line. So that's where you want to put that on the bottom. Because if you're drilling holes into that, uh, that weld is hard to drill and you drill a straight, a straight hole for fastening your body panels or whatever, you don't want that on the top. Uh, that's just something maybe is not common sense to some people, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, so the first step in doing this is number one, have a plan. I've got a, a drawing of it. I'm gonna redo the drawing because I'm making this frame a little smaller than my previous frame. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna build a jig. And a jig's important to keep everything straight. Uh, it's been my experience, maybe other people's experience where you start welding these things. <laughs> The heat, it, heat in the metal starts to move them and your frames get out of square. So we're going to do that. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to cut an angle at the front of the, of the frame. So it's got that nice slope at the front, kind of looks like an old chassis. Um, it's not really required, it's just I think I like the look of it, so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so this is what we've got. Um, on this one we're doing 8 inches. So from 8 inches from the front to the back. I've done 12. I think 8 will look more dramatic. I'm going down one inch here. Uh, so there's two lines on here. You'll see this extra line, this 1 inch down from the top. We're going to make two cuts. So you can see on the cut I've already done, we cut it 1 8 inch from the top so we can keep that nice round angle. And then 1 inch down. So this is going to be cramped, clamped down and welded like that. So that's what it's going to look like. This is going to come down a little bit tighter. A little bit of hammering, that'll be get down there. We'll weld it, square the end off with a grinder. So we'll go ahead and cut this one next. Um, so the idea of this is to, on the top of this, these metal have this nice little rounded chamfer. On my previous ones, I just cut the top off, so I end up with this piece right here, and I had to come back and fill that in. It's really hard to do. Um, you could probably go down a little lower even. Um, it's the first time I've done this. I'm not sure if this is going to work the best or if I need to go down lower next time. But uh, for this one, we're going to go down an eighth of an inch. That way, when I go and grind this weld off, I should be able to keep this corner pretty much the same as it is, like a factory, like it's a factory piece. That's the whole idea to create the illusion that this is made in a factory. Um, there's nothing complicated here, guys. Um, a sharpie, a straight edge, a uh, shield. This has got a, this welding helmet is pretty good if you have a chance to pick a welding helmet up. This one's, I think it's like 70 bucks at the welding shop. It's really, really good. And then a four and a half inch cutoff wheel. And get a flapper disc to go with it to clean up your stuff. So. Pretty simple. So that's uh, the first step in getting these rails ready to turn into cycle carts. More, more in a minute. 
Okay, so I got the cuts made. I noticed something uh, interesting. So when I cut this, I put a straight edge up against it. You can see that the the bottom part down here is a little shallow compared to the top. So I put a straight edge against it, and I press down on it. You'll see there's a gap there. Um, so what we're going to have to do is pry, basically, this bottom part apart a little bit to get it to level out. Otherwise, you'll end up with kind of a shallow spot in your frame. So we've got to deal with that. Okay, so I got the both frames cut, and I went ahead and put, took a hammer to the edge here, which brought it all down. Uh, they're uniform side to side, so they're both the same. Um, like I said, this this line right here, when this gets welded, I'm going to have to put something in here to keep this from collapsing in and creating like a low spot. So I think I've got a piece of one inch angle or a three quarter inch angle I can put in there to keep it all straight. So when we put some tack welds in there, that'll hold it, and it'll be nice and flush and flat. Uh, but right now, these things are good to go. So um, I'm going to put it on pause and we'll get some welding done. Okay, so we got the kind of uh, set up here and I got a few tacks in it. Ended up using a piece of three quarter inch. Or maybe that's one inch. Right? Yeah, that's three quarter inch um, tubing just to kind of create a clamp. I found if I clamped it in only one spot, it was distorting a little bit. Uh, in order to kind of Bring these metal pieces together. I have a piece of 7 8 inch uh, pipe or actually tubing that I had left over from any bike project. Anyway, that worked out really good to kind of put some tension in there to bring these panels in line so they're nice and flat. Uh, before I welded, I went ahead and took a flapper disc to the surface to give us a clean piece of steel to weld to. I forgot to mention earlier, this is 063 gauge steel, so 1 inch by 3 inch by 063. So yeah, so there's the size and the gauge. Uh, this is the other side of the of the, the, of the uh, frame rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack up the other one, and then we'll do some finish welding going, and that'll be the end of this video. Okay, so there you go. So I got uh, all welded up, and I ground off the excess welding. It's nice and flat. You can get a little bit of uh, a low spot there. I might have to do a little bit of fill in later on when I do some more welding. But for right now, that looks pretty good. Uh, they're symmetrical. They're identical side to side, front to back. Um, pretty happy with that. Yeah. So we're going to call that step one done. Uh, the rest of the frame rails are a few more steps involved. We're going to drill some holes for the axle. We're going to build the jig and start putting this thing together. So thanks for watching this uh, episode uh, or this video. It's not really an episode. I'm not really... <laughs> TV shows. Anyway, uh, so this is going to be a fun project. Um, it's going to be short steps. I'm not going to try to make a 30 minute or 40 minute long video. Um, that way if there's a part you need to see or go back and look at, it'll be easier to do that. Um, I don't typically show welding. You want to learn how to weld, watch another channel. If you want to watch somebody grinding on metal, watch another channel. <laughs> I'm just showing you the basics of it. I uh, don't want to waste your time or mine. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this or any of the other videos, let me know. Um, follow the Arizona Cycle Cart Club on Facebook, uh, also CycleCartClub.com. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.